Hello, 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 welcome back to our channel in 2Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Better Discord onto the Discord app. Just before we get into the video, I would just like to say that the Better Discord is against Discord's terms of service. There is a chance you could get banned, so just be careful. But later in the video, I do show you a plugin which will help with this also. Right, so the first thing you need to do is go to betterdiscord.app. I will leave a link in the description to make it easier for yourselves. Go ahead and download whatever the latest version is. Double click on the file to start the installation and accept the licensing agreement. Once you've done that, hit next, install Better Discord, then select whatever version of Discord you're currently running. I am running the default version, so I'll select that and let it install. Once it's installed, it should reboot your Discord, bring it back up again with whatever the latest message is from Better Discord. Now you will notice that not much has changed other than when you go into your user settings, you will see there is now a tab for Better Discord where there is a lot of additional settings there. Now that you have Better Discord installed, we need to get the Do Not Track plugin, which will help you avoid Discord tracking you and avoid a potential ban. So once again, back on the Better Discord app plugin page, you need to search for do not track and download. I will leave a link again in the description to make it easier for you guys. Once you have downloaded the plugin, just head on back to Discord, go to user settings and click on the plugins tab. Once on there, click on open plugins folder. With the plugins folder now open, you just need to open up the downloads file where you just downloaded the plugin from Better Discord and drag and drop the file into the plugins folder. Once you've done that, you will see the plugin will appear within Discord. You just need to click on download and you're done you've now got the plugin installed on your Discord. Right, and that's it for today's video. I do hope you found this Discord tutorial video helpful. If so, please do give it a like and comment below and consider subscribing to the channel Into Tech. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.